Bot Power Aces. Basically, what we did here, we wanted to be able to create an opportunity for people that already invested in bots for Microsoft Teams, let's say, that heavily invested in the bot framework to be able to reuse existing investments and uh, without having to switch and learn new technologies because maybe they built their bots using C Sharp or other kind of uh, uh, non-web based techs. Uh, how do they basically use the same kind of uh, investments and uh, participate to deliver connections. So today, if you have something like that, what you have to do, you have to build your ACE using SharePoint framework and then create some sort of deep linking to your existing bot. Uh, bot power ACEs uh, give you the ability to uh, avoid that and simply, for lack of better words, teach your bot how to speak Viva. So what we did was we worked with the bot framework team and we created new uh, kind of actions that are part of the bot framework that are specifically for Viva. So now your bot can basically listen to these actions. The dashboard and the card will send these actions to the bot and the bot can respond back uh, using a, a declarative approach for the card view or by setting the properties that you want to show in the card view, the card size, the template, et cetera, et cetera. And for the quick view, sending the whole JSON, uh, adaptive card JSON for showing the, the quick view. Uh, that also means that from the SharePoint framework standpoint, uh, there is no client code needed. Actually, as a matter of fact, there is no client code at all. It's not that you don't need, but you, you may want to add it. No, you can't. Yeah, everything is in the bot itself. The only thing that you have to deploy in SharePoint is a package uh, that is uh, basically telling SharePoint that there is a new type of card that to, to surface in the card picker. So with that said, let me reduce this. Let me open my demo box. So here I have a bot uh, that has been uh, built using Node.js. Uh, I'm using ngrok to expose my bot uh, in the uh, in the internet. And as you can see, everything here is in the in the bot itself. Uh, to register my bot, I have an app package, and inside the app package, I, I have a similar to the Teams schema uh, manifest that has some kind of a additional information for the bot itself. But other than that, we are going to we are working together with the Teams uh, team in order to ensure that this information will be part of the Teams manifest. But other than that, is nothing more than a Teams uh, manifest itself. So once I have basically created my package, I go to my uh, SharePoint site. Uh, let me close this and refresh, and I go to my app catalog. I deploy the app, the the the, the package in the app catalog. This is my um, bot, basically that I deployed. It looks a little bit different because it looked it it understands that it's not an SPFX kind of component. And then when I go to my dashboard. Um, I basically refresh, I can edit, I can add my card, uh, and basically this is the card itself. Here it is, and this is my bot, this is my card. Uh, I can see in the in the debugger that I got a call, and then for example, uh, if we want to take a look a little bit on how it works, and let me zoom it before Vez is asking. Uh, so basically there is a, there is a, there is a bunch of properties that we have in order to be able to uh, intercept the messages that we get from the from the dashboard itself. We have uh, uh, something called just like uh, get quick view async, we have get car view async, we have get property pane, we have set property pane, and when you get these messages, you can basically react to this information. So for example, with the get quick view async here, I'm able to set up and create multiple uh, views because as a we are supporting exactly the same functionality that you would support in an ACE. So one of those being having the ability to have multiple views, for example. So if I could create uh, quick views here, so right now I have this quick view in the basic card view that when I click that, it gives me this title. So I can go back here and I can go to the basic view. I can click on the quick view. This is my quick view. Then I can simply go to my bot I can go back here and I can say uh, hello community. I can save, I can stop and restart. Then I go back to the dashboard. 
and add the 365. The card again. There it is. And then I click on the basic view, and here it is. If everything changes, now I have to do. I had, I had to do no changes because there is no publishing in the package. There is no client side code. Everything is server side. Um, one of the cool features that we have enabled for the bot driven, driven ACES is the ability to support third party IDPs. So, for example, if you want to uh, log in by using a different IDP that is not Azure Active Directory, Google, Okta, you name it, uh, we are we have hooked to the same flow that you have for uh, Teams bots to be able to have kind of a magic code or token based uh, auth uh, that you will be able to provide uh, in order to be able to authenticate and use the bot. And it's completely uh, inside the framework. You don't have to create any dialogues. Uh, the framework takes care of, of that for you. Uh, we are currently private preview, but we are launching a public preview this week. So expect a message from Beza or anyone else from us uh, to the community and to the internet when public preview will be available. We know that there are some features that are not still yet. So one of the and one of the reasons why we are doing public preview is because we want to get as much feedback as possible. One example, one of the things that we are still coding is the ability to send back and forward to all of this call the information that you may have set in the property bag so that you can, at any given time, you can understand that for that specific card instance, uh, if you had some kind of custom properties, which kind of custom properties the operator set and read them, uh, those kind of information on any uh, basically uh, call. That's all, everything that I have. Excellent. Thank you, Lokan.